Another Queenslander joins us right now, sitting between myself and the big man, uh, Ross right. Kelly. Welcome, Ross. Great Thank to see you. Lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> this is the race between two thorns. Lucky girl, Ross. <laughs> oh, I do feel lucky. <laughs> really? Daryl? I don't think you are that lucky. <laughs> Just keep your distance, Ross. Try and oh, stay Oh, I am. Don't worry. I'm, I'm leaning in towards Fanny. <laughs> How's you? Uh, I, ever do. I came in too close. How was, um, how was your night last night? It was great. Yeah. They, they do say that Origin is obviously a big night for the players, but it's a huge night for the fans as well, and the atmosphere is absolutely electric out there. Had, you been, to one, had, you, had you been to a game, uh, an Origin game of that size in Sydney before? Not in Sydney, no. 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 I've been to a lot in Queensland, and the atmosphere in Queensland is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I actually went to a Socceroos match a while ago, and I said, it's nothing compared to Origin. You know, it's, uh, it's absolutely electric, and the fans get so into it. But, um, yeah, it was good to see all the Blues... Fans getting behind their team as well, even though they lost. Sorry, guys. You've done a little story for us tonight uh, behind the scenes. What, what sort of people did you meet in filming this? So basically, I just went and found out what goes into the making of State of Origin and yep. all the hard work, you know, behind the coverage of State of Origin. And you know, as much as we love it when we're watching it, it's it's not so good for some of the people involved. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Roz. Uh, we're going to watch this story now. Roz Kelly behind the scenes last night of Origin. <laughs> Believe it or not, more goes into a State of Origin match than just 80 minutes of footy. Behind the scenes, there are people working just as hard as the players on the field. Unfortunately, we don't get to see much of the game, but you know the important thing is, fellas, is that we feel it. Forget the penalty count or hit-ups, these are the real game stats. In one night, 18,000 buckets of chips are sold, 12,000 pies, 30,000 bottles of water, and the punters will guzzle down 75,000 beers. I'm not going to stop all night, though. I wish somebody would pour me a beer. The coverage has been to 100 countries around the world, and while you relax, hundreds of Channel 9 employees are working tirelessly to bring all the action to your lounge room. Except for that guy. And we can't forget the voice of origin. It's, Gidley, running up the it's a job I've done for um, a long, long time and I just love it. I, I, I think I'd be lost if I was sitting at home watching it, to tell you the truth. Back entered to try for Bird! Greg Bird has scored! The unsung hero of the coverage and of course the person with the toughest job is the makeup artist. And it looks like I've just caught someone in the act. Dell, I thought you were a natural beauty. Oh, I am natural beauty, as I said to Jackie, yeah. I don't need any work because black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> Love them or hate them, it's not a game without the referees, so let's go have a chat to the biggest whistleblowers. What's it like to be one of the most hated men on the field? Uh, it comes with the territory, you know. I'm uh, looking forward to uh, going out there and doing my job. What would you prefer, your job or being out there playing? Uh, I, I enjoy my job. Um, I'm probably not good enough to be out there as a player, so I'm happy being the referee. Billy, this will be the fourth, just checking on side. And Bill, would you rather be up here or down there running around? Uh, honestly, Roz, down on the field, running around. That's the best place to be. I don't think I'd share it with Tony Archer or Shane Hunt. I'd rather have it on my own, but uh, this is the best spot for me now up here, high in the sky. But there's always some that will never give it up. It's still good to be a part of the game? Oh, it is. It's great being involved with the boys and they keep you young. Oh, the head's willing, but the body's not able, unfortunately. But they've used everybody else, so I'll put my hand up. If they needed someone to maybe chip over the top and win the game for them, they'd probably give it to Mal, a jumper. But I'd be flat out running out, but I would. I'd, I'd give my life for Queensland. But the Origin Series is officially over. So it's all over for another year. There it is, your quick look behind the scenes of State of Origin. And as everyone goes to bed, we must spare a thought for these guys. I hate Origin. <laughs> now the boys, they work hard behind the scenes. The, uh... The D Riggers, I think they were there until about 4 o'clock this morning with the boys getting all the stuff ready and heading out to uh, uh, down to Tiger Town, I think, for the big game tomorrow night between the Tigers and the Titans.